Okay, the final video, we have got the modelled metal bench. We have got um, a assembly drawing which shows everything assembled and the overall sizes. And we have got um, a exploded parts view drawing. This video, I'm going to quickly show you how to make an individual part drawing. So um, we're going to go to the new drawing from design. Um, and instead of full assembly, we're going to try some different um, part drawings. So um, if I click just the um, one part there and click OK, should open up an A4 drawing. You may need A3 for this, a bit like the others. Um, so this is a single part and we're looking from it from the front. Um, if we project a view downwards of this one, we should get a view like that. So it shows the um, component with the with the miter on the top, 45 degree, and the bottom. From that point, we can click dimension, and we need to try and get um, a dimension that shows that that's a 45 on the end. Um, and then I do an overall length, which would be off this line here. Um, we'll try and avoid this if we possibly can, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to move this one. We'll see if we can get it from a different part. Uh, that kind of looks alright, so maybe we come up a little bit higher and it just avoids that. So um, that's all we really need to know on that one. We might zoom in, we could, we could do a um, 30 by 30 on this one. We'll just show the material we're using. That's kind of like a typical size though, so almost an assumption that that will be uh, the same for each piece. So um, that one's our leg upright. Um, so we might want to put a, um, a title up the top, which is like um, a leg. We use capital letters in this. Um, we might want to bold it and make it a bit bigger. And then so that shows my leg drawing. We can continue by doing um, that, so we can um, place a base view. Um, this time here, we come back here and go to model. We want to just do a single component. So, um, we, so we got the leg in, um, just to have a quick look here before we put the next component in. Um, when we selected that leg, um, it's actually imported the whole assembly um, and it's crossed out all the ones that it's not displaying. Um, unfortunately, we need to do the same for the next one. So we're going to put a base view in. And you can see that it's got the model here, but there's no way of selecting just a single part. So model, this gets a little bit messy. So we click OK. And it's got the whole model um, selected. So I'm going to deselect everything. I think you have to do this manually. You might find a better way. And we just want, say, the top rail this time. So I'm going to deselect all the other parts. That leaves me with the top rail. I'll hide this and this. And I'm going to check what size this one is. So that's a 1 to 10. I'll double click this one. It's a 1 to 20. So I'm going to make the scale the same. And not sure if we can swing this around to be a different view. We might have to double click it and, and select, say, a right view and then project it up from the right view. Um, I'm kind of feeling my way through this. Um, that works quite nicely like that because you can see the miters. You do want to see the miters. Um, it's going to get pretty messy pretty quickly. So, um, so you can see, just keep playing with the views. Um, I think the front, probably the front and the side view works best. I've projected this one across, so click that and click project and project them across. We might just need to isolate these separately. So, oops, I didn't want that view, so I'll delete it. Um, so, we might need to put this one in the center of the page somewhere. We'll call this one top rail. So um, I'm going to click this one and copy, Control c Control v and hopefully that is a separate.
Um, top row. Now, typically, typically, you'd have all these parts on separate pages. I'm just trying to find a way for you guys to do this a little bit quicker. Um, if you've got the other two drawings done nicely, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Um, this um, are fairly minor details that are on this extra page. So um, you can do your 30 by 30 on this one too. It's always best to zoom right in. And D is your shortcut for dimension. So we're going to have to knead them up then by pulling them out a little bit further. It's not quite big enough for the measurements to sit in between like that, so I'll come out from there. And then I'm going to continue. So we've got a bottom rail on that one too, and we've got the long uh, spacer one. So um, base view, place it, um, and we will go oops, um, 1 to 10 because we know what the scale is. We want this bottom rail this time, so. Um, deselect every link and I'm not going to go through and show you every other part but we once I've uh, got this one going you can do the rest so this one's a square ended so it's easy um, we'll chuck this one underneath this one we'll project a view oops project this one out this way so it's kind of lined up nicely with this one quick tick Put your dimensions on, label it up again. Um, we can copy this one and paste it. So we can change this one to bottom rail. Oops, have to OK it first. I'm sure you guys get the idea. Um, the idea is to make sure this is nice and neat though. Capital letters, everything's kind of centered um, and pretty logical. Um, you can add the wooden plank board and the uh, long connector rail as well, and then that drawing would be completely done. Um, hopefully this helps creating a parts uh, drawing. Um, that is all that you need to do for this project.